Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Mem Spotlight as a bookmarking tool. And before we get started, make sure you check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the video. Chances are that you've probably read, heard, or watched something that you wanted to remember on the internet, and then you completely forget about it because we're all basically drowning in a sea of noise and information. And with most browser-based bookmarking tools, you have to remember where you saved something. Not only that, it leads to a bunch of tab clutter, which ends up being a massive recipe for distraction and context shifts. But with Mem, you can use Mem Spotlight as a bookmarking tool and just save and tag it. So I want to go through three different examples of how we can do this. So let's say that we want to remember a uh, book, for example, that we came across on Amazon, and maybe you're not ready to buy this book, but you want to make sure that you save it. So the thing we can do is we can bring up Mem Spotlight, save it inside of Mem, and then that gets saved there. Let's say that we come across a blog post that we might want to read. So this is Seth's blog post about sunk costs at work. And there are two different ways that we could do this. We could actually just bookmark the article itself, which then would give us the link to Seth's blog like that. But let's say that you didn't want to leave Mem, and this is actually a much better way to do it, I think, where you can just highlight all of the text, so that way you can actually read the entire article right inside of Mem without having to go anywhere else. And then finally, another thing that I like to do is sometimes when I'm browsing sites like Product Hunt, I find things that are interesting that are things that I want to look into, but I don't want to get distracted by right now. So the other thing I can do is I can, again, save this, and it gives us this thumbnail so we know what it's about. But then what we can do is go into our inbox inside of Mem. And if we look here, we have all these different things in our inbox. So the thing that's important here is tagging. So I like to tag any of the apps that I might want to check out as apps and tools of interest. And you'll see here when I click on the tag, I have all the various apps and tools of interest that uh, I might want to check out at some point in the future. And then we can do the same thing for books as well. So let's say that I want to look into you know, reading this book then what I can do is I can add the tag books to read. And you'll see here again, if I click on the tag books to read, all the books that I've saved from Amazon that I might want to read at some point are right there. And that way I don't actually have to remember them on Amazon or do anything else. And they're right here inside of them. So that ends up being a huge time saver. And the same thing for articles from the internet. So for example, I could tag this as articles from the internet and then you can see here that I have a couple of different things that are also tagged as the same. So this ends up actually being a really great way to use Mem Spotlight as a bookmarking tool and reduce the number of places that you have to visit and reduce context shifts. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.